when it seems like there is nothing to say, I can find something to talk about. It's a little bit of a superpower, but it comes after 20 years in sports broadcasting. Because let me tell you something, not every outcome is one that you want to spend a whole lot of time talking about, but we do not have the option of opting out of those conversations. We have to go on camera and talk about what just happened. And there are plenty of times where it seems like there is nothing left to say, at least nothing good left to say. And here's what we do. We don't just go out there and wing it and hope for the best. We practice, we script things out, we study notes, and we talk through how that conversation might play out on TV so that when it happens, we have a lot of experiences and, and we've already thought through this just a little bit. Truth be told, it is the same way I approach small talk and a lot of in-person interactions. And while you think it sounds like overkill, that is the part of the conversation that trips us up a lot. It's wondering or fearing that we don't have anything else to say. The reality is there are plenty of things around you that can contribute to a conversation. You just have to know where to look and you have to know how to guide a conversation right to where you want someone to go. I've got these conversation hacks and tips for you and I've got a webinar coming up on June 9th. I'm going to share three things that will keep conversations from getting awkward and the missed opportunity in every single conversation. It is certainly important as we have more in-person conversations, but you know what? It's important for all of the conversations that we have. So go to the homepage of the website, TalkSportyToMe.com. It is free. It is 30 minutes. It's going to change the way you have conversations. I promise.